Hey everyone, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. In this video, we're going to crochet this cute little hippo. I make it in grey, but this would work for pretty much any colour. First, you'll need some chunky or super chunky plush yarn in your choice of colour. I use one full skein of yarn, so I would recommend having two. You'll also need some medium weight yarn in black for the eyebrows and nostrils, and white for the eyes. Other items you'll need are a USG crochet hook, or a hook to match the yarn you're using, as well as polyfill, safety eyes, scissors, yarn needle, and I always recommend using stitch markers. The stitches you need to know beforehand are magic ring, single crochet, slip stitch, chain stitch, increase and decrease. We're going to start at the front of the face and work backwards. Make a slip knot and chain 6. Make one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And I recommend adding a marker to this stitch. Now working back along the chain, we're going to do three single crochet. Now in that last chain stitch, we're going to do four single crochet into one stitch. You should start to work towards the side and underside of the chain here. Now working on the underside of the chain, we're going to do three single crochet. And into that next stitch, we're going to do three single crochet into one stitch. Then we slip stitch back to that first marked single crochet. That is the end of round one, so I'm going to put the marker into that stitch. Round 2 starts in the stitch after the slip stitch, so that's here. And we start with 3 single crochet. Now we do 2 single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches. That means we're doing 4 increases. So there's the first increase. And the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Now we do all of that again. So three single crochet, followed by four increases. This will bring the total of round two up to 22 stitches. In round 3, once again we start with 3 single crochet. Now we do a single crochet, and then an increase into the next stitch. Now we're going to do that single crochet and an increase 4 times in total. So we've already done it once. And now we go again, a single crochet, 
an increase, a single crochet, an increase, and then a single crochet followed by an increase. Now we do all of that again. So we start with three single crochet. And then just like before, we do that single crochet followed by an increase, which we do four times. So single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, and the last single crochet, increase. Round four, once again, we start with three single crochet. And this time we do two single crochet followed by an increase and we do that four times. So two single crochet and the increase, two single crochet, increase, two single crochet, increase and the last two single crochet and increase. Now we do all of that one more time. So three single crochet and then two single crochet followed by an increase which we do four times. Now we are done with increasing our oval. In rounds five to six, so that's two rounds, we just do 38 single crochet around. So that's no increasing. And I'll finish off these two rounds off camera. After round six, we're going to make a few stitches to get to the middle. This is so that we can keep the head symmetrical. In my case, I'm going to add two single crochet, and this is the new end of round six. In round seven, we start with seven single crochet. Then we do a decrease, and I like to do the invisible decrease like so. Then we do a single crochet and another decrease. Now we do five single crochet. And four increases. So that's two single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then five single crochet. And a decrease. Then a single crochet and another decrease. And we finish off the round with seven single crochet. In round eight, we just do 38 single crochet around. And I'll finish off this round off camera. In round nine, we start with seven single crochet.
and then we do a decrease now we do an increase and then a single crochet and we do that increase followed by a single crochet 10 times in total Now we do a decrease and finish off the round with 7 single crochet. In round 10 we do 46 single crochet around and once again I'll do this off camera. Now like before we need to land up in the middle of the bottom of the head. So you might need to add a few single crochet depending on your tension and yarn and this will be your new end of round 10. In my case I'm still in the middle so I'm not going to add any stitches. In round 11, we start with 9 single crochet. Then we do an increase. And then 26 single crochet. Then an increase and we finish off the round with 9 single crochet. Now we're going to attach the eyes and they're going between rounds 7 and 8, about 8 stitches apart. We just did round 11, so counting back from there, round 7 to 8 is here. Then counting over 8 stitches, attach the second eye. Once you're happy that the eyes are symmetrical, you can attach the backs. Now we're going to do 5 rounds of 48 single crochet around. So that's rounds 12 to 16. And I'll finish off these 5 rounds off camera. Now we're going to start decreasing for the back of the head. In round 17 it's 6 single crochet, followed by a decrease, And we do all of that 6 times to bring us down to 42 stitches in the round. In round 18, it's 5 single crochet and then a decrease. And we do that 6 times to get 36. In round 19 it's 4 single crochet, then a decrease and we do that 6 times to get 30. In round 20 it's 3 single crochet followed by a decrease and we do that 6 times to get 24.
At this point we can start stuffing the head. I will still add a bit more stuffing before I reach the end. In round 21 it's two single crochet and then a decrease and we do that six times to get 18. In round 22, it's a single crochet, followed by a decrease, and we do that six times to get 12. At this point, I'm going to add more stuffing to the back of the head. Now for our last round, which is round 23, we do six decreases. This will bring us down from 12 stitches to six. Now we can cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. To sew that hole closed, we're going to go through the last six stitches, just through the front loops. Then pull on the yarn tail to close the hole and insert the yarn into the piece into a few different places to secure it. And that is the head completed. Next we're going to do the ears. And in round one it's six single crochet in a magic ring. I'll link my full tutorial for how I like to do the magic ring at the top of the video. Pull the ring tight. And then as always I'll be adding a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round two, we do six increases. This means we're doing two single crochet into each stitch from round one. This will bring us up from six stitches to 12. In rounds three to four, so that's two rounds, we just do 12 single crochet around. In round five, we start with a single crochet and then a decrease and we do all of that four times in total to bring us down to eight stitches. And I'm just going to tuck in that tail and now we fold the ear flat and do single crochets across both sides to close it. Then cut the yarn leaving a tail for sewing. Now we're going to grab our yarn needle and pinch the base of the ear and just secure it with that yarn tail. The ear should now curve inwards like so. 
and you'll be making two of these ears. Thanks for watching part 1 of the Hippo tutorial. The link to part 2 will be in the description box.